Hey guys, and welcome to a new review. Today we're going to be talking about DC Young, DC's Young Animal comic, Doom Patrol, number 5. Let's jump into it. This is my Grey, Grey Ward? Grey Way? Grey Ward? I think Grey Way? Grey... Grey Way or Grey Ward? Whatever name here. He's the lead... He's the lead singer for my... Uh, my Chemical Romance. It's pretty cool that he's doing a Doom Patrol book. So we're gonna jump into this. It starts off with um the um uh I haven't read this in a while. Uh Ch Cassie, Ca Casey, Cassie in the ambulance, and she goes to her um pal who is the other guy in the who we saw in like the first season throughout the series. He was like the other guy who does the who walks out the hospital whistle and does this stuff, and then we see um um. Uh, see, then he sees all like the wackos and the bust of van and everything and figures out and then they just boom teleport and then we see let's and this is let's go fast brick by brick part five so this is part five of brick by brick and now we jump to where um the robot robot man who it's cliff cliff and cliff and uh who's the other guy larry who is the uh i'm quite sick of his name negative man so it's him becoming like getting wrapped up in the bandages and stuff again and becoming like his getting his old costume on coming like his old self and with the weird sunglasses was in like the weird shape and sunglasses and it's just uh it's bringing out so many memories this book is just so like a crack in the past and the best dc young animal book right now and it shows them and then like um, a bunch of uh um with confetti comes and they see the truck just oh, a board opens up the truck comes in and then like and she's like, get in. I'm like, and it's like, no question about it. We just get in the truck. And then it's like, Danny. It's like, and they find out it's Danny because he's talking to him. And they, and then we see um, a picture where it's like, Flex must deal, a flex. The guy who, in like the, the muscle league guy from the series, you ever do who you should know who he is. Um, him dead. And we see the whole Danny Vils like in peril, and you see some of the guys there helping, helping people and stuff. And they figure out a plan, she puts on her max, she she's not wearing a max, she's just driving around. But she puts on the max, puts the pedals on the metal, and then they go. And then we see um, uh, this actor not guy, who is, has a thing and he pulls like some stuff. And we see this cat eat it, or like starts looking at eating it. And Grand Forms is like a human cat, like a, a cat that can walk and like the like human. Weird shit, right? I think I know where this is going. I, I totally forgot that it was in this issue. It makes sense now. Something that happens in the next issue, uh, the final issue for the story arc. And then you see the truck goes back to where the bad guys are, and we see the other truck, uh, another truck. It might be, since it looks a little different, there's some stuff missing. I can't tell if it's the exact, I think it's the exact same. Just one has uh, something like that um, yellow, what's that? The ambulance thing that flashes on top of it, and the other one does, and some. But he knocks out some of the guys, and then they go out and they want to talk. They find out the guy Tomoka is. Uh, we find out that this guy Tomoka is actually. We find out, and I was gonna say that, but I don't know if we find it out yet. Uh, and they're talking about how the guy Tomoka is her, her dad, who we find out. And it's kind of weird, because it's like a, like, yeah, okay, here's the dad, that makes it weird, but yeah. Um, it's, I mean, it's weird to think, and then we see, like, this evil version of Cassidy with her. And then Robot Man, Naked Man, start, you know, start the fighting, they start punching people, and everything's going crazy, and the fighting's happening. And then we see, um, just more fighting, and then they swap the ambulances, people to the ambulances. And then we see, um, meanwhile, in Larry Trainer's infant uh, parole lifetime, and we see, um, uh, Niles, the guy who, I think his name is Niles, uh, Niles, is Niles, Niles, he's the guy in a wheelchair who runs basically Doom Patrol, it's weird that we've seen him on these, like, one-page things, where they're kind of, like, the same pan page, just over and over again, it's kind of cool, and to see him here, uh, called about, called, it's like, I'm here about something, I'm here about something called the Doom Patrol, I was like, okay, cool, we're getting glimpses to him, so he eventually is gonna come back into it. Well, I think it's going to be cool. Uh, and then we see him fighting, and the dad is fighting. Robot Man is basically about to squish his head, like he's, his head's all crushed, and he's stopping him. And then the door opens uh, for the back of the man, and this, the negative man just hits him. 
and he goes flying through the door, like, gets the big pal, and everything coming, who comes out of the van, it's Glo- Gloria, who is, good to see you, it's like, it's good to see you, dick, wait, his name's not dick, is it, or is that, was that like, a, was he human, and he became woman to this thing, I'm not sure, or is that her being, like, calling him a dick, works both ways, but whatever, and we find out this is her mom, and we find out, it's her mom, so it's like her mom and dad are here, so it's kind of cool. See that they're alive or whatever, I guess. And then we see them back in Dana, and Dana looks a lot better. It actually looks pretty nice. And then the, we still have Lechmont there, still there. He's like knocked out. It looks like his wounds are healed, because he has some, it looks like blood stuff in him, but now he looks uh, weird. So he's like, so the one guy, the guy who has like the, um, he looks like a bum, kind of. Reaching to the lowest creature, I don't know what specifically room was called. Opens up a little friend, opens up, and it's like the old goo and he takes it out. What are you doing? He's like, watching on his hands, like, watching his hands with, like, soap. And then he puts it all over. Flex. And that, I want to see if it's actually, I don't know if it shows this issue. But it is going to do some stuff. And then we see um, Cassidy, like, uh, doing a... Uh, Putting gasoline all over this comic shelf, what is, I guess, a part of Danny or something, where she, like, burns his, like, burning her past. It's, it's a cool scene, because that's what she learned about stuff. Then she comes back, and then we see, um, which, uh, the phone's ringing, so ignore that. I cannot help that. People keep freaking calling. And we see Cassie's mom get shot by the evil version of her. And then, like, the gun she has just blows up. And see, I don't know if it kills her. It doesn't show her. But then we see Fleck went through and everybody coming out and going into the other Danny. And everything, and it's like, so he made it out alive, he got healed, and everybody's squishing, and then the other guys are fighting. And Fleck seems to have joined the fight, because he is more of a fighter. And it shows his mom, they're dying, his dad by her side. And then it's like a flash of light. It's like about to kiss. They're about to they kiss, and it's like a flash of light. And that's it for them. And then we cut over to New Mexico somewhere, and we see this girl. We don't know who she is yet, but we will find out in the next issue. It's talking to this person, who is... That's right, dear. Since he said at the end, that's right, dear. Tomorrow, we will all be Jade. Jade, if you don't know, it's another character from the original Doom Patrol by Cam Wilson. So, and if it's to continue, so, so, it's like a giant nuke or something. I'm like, okay, you're bringing in more characters from the original Doom Patrol. I'm liking that, liking that. Uh, the, um, I can't remember who that other person is in this Doom Patrol suit. I would like to see. Who's that other person? I can't remember her name. Uh, it sucks that one of them who had the little, like, teddy bear or whatever that thing was. He kind of secretly a doll or whatever that turned into like a monster. So he could turn things like from her brain. Oh, I want this and then whatever to use as monster. Whatever. I forget her name, but yeah. The only other thing left in this book, because sometimes these, sometimes books, the guy wants to burn that stuff. Dick one has another Bane coloring corner was kind of like a goofy kind of thing. Like, hey, look, here's a coloring book of something. Here's a, something you can color, but it's like either of Bane, who's a character you don't think of, like, I'm gonna call in Bane, the mass murderer, it's like, calling the Joker, like, I'm gonna call in the Joker, killing a hooker, or something, I don't know, it's just one of the weird things where he's, like, signing, like, uh, uh, democracy begins with you, the people, and it's him, like, signing stuff, stuff. it looks weird, like, a weird coloring page, it's just, like, I wouldn't expect that to be a coloring page, and that's why I like it, they're kind of, like, making fun of the like, coloring pages thing, it's cool, I like it, and then we have some character files at the end of each, each month seems to have all the books that come out by DC Young Animals, uh, like, like, month, like everything that came out in June for DC Young Animals, for example, would have the same character files, it seems like, for the all the books. So all the books in June will have the same character files. But this one has, for Team Co- has the, always, uh, a page was kind of like, uh, those old who, who, those old DC who's who books, why actually, a really cool, like, like a whole book, that, there's, a whole, there's a series of comics, that basically are just a comic, that basically just has a bunch of information on like, have character files on all the characters, and like all the information, fat appearances, um, all the information and stuff, it's really cool, and it does one on, the one does one on the Whispers, who's the new villain of the Cave Carson series, and Team Carson, the original Team Carson, so that's cool, and what they are first, the PM was in Brave and the Bull was the one, so yeah, that's it for this review, because that's all there is for this issue, uh, of Doom Patrol, what is one of the best books out by these young animals, I highly, if you're gonna pick one, 
I'm gonna pick this one, the Empire Wars it is. Start from the beginning of Story Arc, or it might be confusing, and even then, it still might be confusing, because this is a book that is definitely the most confusing out of all the books. This one, and uh, what's the other one I'm thinking of? Shard of Change, got the two most, I feel like, have the most confusing. This one's the most weirdest, and this one and Shard are the most confusing uh, to explain. This one's a little easier, I can take weird superheroes, that's all you need to know for this. But that's it for this video, um, we're done with this video. You guys can like and share the video to share to your favorite social platforms you can check out my social media sites like twitter instagram and facebook all in the description box below you can subscribe to this channel epic every game where we do more video gaming and comic book related content and also we do anime and movies and other stuff sometimes and you can check out my main channel super crazy Gomer, where i do parodies gifts fun stuff on that channel i'm going to be posting a new video on now soon so hope you guys enjoy you guys can always stay epic and i'll see you in the next video guys bye